The fifth industrial revolution or Industry 5.0 is actually going to revolutionize and transform many organizations, particularly in the manufacturing sector. The question is, how is it different from many of the earlier initiatives, particularly Industry 4.0, which many organizations undertook? There are three broad differences. The first one is that we are talking about a more resilient solution. And when we are talking about resilience, uh, we are talking about understanding the shocks and the disruptions which happen in the production processes, in the supply chain, in the logistics, uh, in the customer side and the supplier side, multiple areas where uh, these shocks and uh, disruptions can happen. So A, able to understand these disruptions better and B, take care of those shocks in a way which does not compromise on the business continuity of an organization. That's number one. Number two is on the sustainability. As you can understand, we are talking about manufacturing organizations and many of these organizations, particularly in the steel and cement and industrial engineering and chemicals, they have a huge amount of uh, carbon footprint. And going forward, these organizations will have to transform to ensure that they are more green going forward. And that would be the need of the R for any transformation which is taking place in their operations or in their supply chain or both. And the third, uh, which is also extremely important, is the human centricity. So for example, in the past, uh, there was this debate whether an algorithm or a machine is going to do better than a human being or an algorithm is going to replace a human being. But we are not talking about that. We are now talking about a very symbiotic relationship between a human and a machine between an algorithm and what uh, manually has to be done. And, and, and we are now talking about how both can enhance each other's efficiency. For example, if there is a decision which a human has to take, then can that decision be significantly enhanced using uh, an algorithm or using analytics? On the other hand, if there is a piece of work which is not very value adding or very, very routine, can that be taken over by a machine to do it in a more automated way? And in, in both the processes, everybody is going to benefit. So we are talking about this uh, human centricity, this ability to uh, play to each other's strength and significantly improve the productivity and scale, which is going to be important for India to become a global leader as far as manufacturing is concerned. We did a research um, across a number of uh, sectors uh, in the manufacturing domain and uh, we found out uh, two important things. The first thing is that we already see there is a huge amount of awareness in many of these sectors, particularly with respect to sustainability, resilience and human centricity. And that's a great news. On the other hand, we also saw that many organizations and many of our uh, survey respondents actually told us that there is an opportunity loss which they are seeing because they have not been able to move fast enough in their journey and that, that they have also quantified in terms of the revenue loss which they are seeing going forward and hence it's a huge opportunity for them to uh, modify and to transform themselves and take advantage of this, uh, uh, this technology and this concept so that they can forge ahead, be very transformative and uh, be, uh, create an organization which is very, very different uh, and uh, very resilient and sustainable and human-centric uh, going forward. Uh, so uh, read more about what we have uh, uh, created in terms of our thought leadership and we hope to uh, hear your feedback, your thoughts and comments uh, about this point of view. Thank you very much.